All right, well, Goldman sucked. That stock fooling nearly 5% today. It's CEO Lloyd Blankfein hiring a hotshot lawyer who's best known for defending the Enron exec, other corporate bosses accused of wrongdoing, like Bernie we uh, uh, Ebers, ring a bell. Uh, Lizzie Wicked McDonald says he's lawyering up because this means something big, maybe something bad, could be coming down. Lizzie's joined by our other Fox stars, including Jonathan Holding and Caroline Heldman. So, Lizzie, what's going on here? Well, now, Reed Weingarten, uh, who's a pretty famous D.C. attorney with Steptoe and Johnson, is going to be uh, working with the Lloyd, meaning because Lloyd Blankfein is suing the Lord's work. But anyway, so what's going on here is a department. It's not like O'Reilly has like a third person reference to himself. <laughs> right. No. Well, uh, not just yet. But here's the deal. Uh, there was a Senate panel probe into Goldman Sachs, which alleges that the firm misled its investors, after which uh, Carl Levin has said that not only did the firm mislead investors, but misled Congress. So Lloyd Blankfein made a statement under oath to Congress saying that Goldman Sachs did not have a net short against housing. It did not have a massive bet against housing and it uh, he essentially said we certainly did not bet against our clients so that is the, at, at what, one of the issues that the firm is going to have to deal with whether Mr. Weingarten is he is doing this on his that. own or is the he's firm hired picking the this firm, up? Correct he's hired the firm on his oh, own and the firm did okay. put out a statement it has to do with the justice probe. Okay so what are we to make of that Jonathan? Well it's a Salem witch trial Neil I mean the notion that Carl Levin or anyone else could blame Goldman Sachs blame Lloyd Blankfein for the housing collapse is laughable. It's that's not what this issue. That's not what well, is that issue. Who cares if that's he, not what that's, that's, they're not blaming they about a, a housing collapse. Okay, it's that so he, let's say they had a short position. Who cares? Had, uh, no, Goldman Sachs had a short position. Was no, no, didn't have a didn't have a short, just, just a short position. D it misled investors and didn't disclose to investors about the short position when it said to investors well, in one deal, for example, that its interests were aligned with investors that. That is allegedly misleading investors. It goes beyond well, what you're saying. Here's, here's what I'd like to know. I mean, Caroline, when you hear and read this, regardless of the details, I, I'm not familiar with all the details of this, but normally what I realize is when someone hires a hotshot lawyer, they think they're in hot, hot water. Um, if that is the case, whether it's true or not, um, that's going to cast a pall, I think, over certainly financial stocks uh, for the fear that other shoes are going to drop, right? Well, I would agree with, with that very much, and also EMAC is spot on. It's probably uh, his statements before Congress that are, that are being investigated. We know that's under investigation. That's likely why he's hired this attorney. And Jonathan, the company admitted it, Goldman Sachs admitted it in the settlement last year when they paid $550 million that they admitted omitted what? information. They admitted on that one, they did not on let one deal. investors it's, know it has nothing to do that there was a hedge fund. It has nothing to do with the housing collapse. The Nobody point brought is up that the housing Blanc collapse. Is a target. Specifically, that they, they should. They admitted that they defrauded clients. They admitted that they om that they omitted information, and there was a five hundred and fifty million dollars settlement well, between the SEC well, and Goldman Sachs. Well, could I step back? And I want to stick with the subject with the reigning ninety seconds or so we have, guys. But Lizzie, my instant thought when I heard this was, it's it's like we we, we look for closure on the last crisis. You know, Madoff provided a little bit, but maybe Roger Roger Rotman provided some. But getting a big brokerage or investment bank CEO really would be a coup de grace. Well, right? listen, the Senate subcommittee spent a lot of time and interviewed a lot of Goldman executives and have a lot of emails and internal documents. Where well, Goldman they have itself, his testimony Well, itself. yeah, that's right. And they have, you know, statements such uh, documents showing that Goldman Sachs itself said it was using a big short. And, you know, it helped its profits in the quarter ending 2007. It, it yeah. said it's well, not really money. Yeah. You think he's in trouble? Uh, I think if he's hiring Reed Weingarten, right, that's right. an issue. Johnny? Well, you know, Neil, he's a target. He should say absolutely nothing. Every word he makes, every move he makes, somebody on the left is going to find fault with it. And ultimately, they're real guilty left of doing nothing right. other than it's, it's making not a, a smart listen, decision. It's not a making political money. issue. Why has that been criminalized? J Jonathan, it's not a political issue. It's not right or left. It's an issue of whether or it's not a, the firm listen, misled Congress and misled investors, period. Do you think it did? Right, but, but, and looking at the documents, it sort of, you, it depends on how he's going to define All right, so left or right, message. left or right, I, I don't care about that. Message but I, I will matter. say this, then, for Goldman, that's not good. No, it doesn't look good at all. It hasn't looked good for Goldman for two years now, and certainly the So the chickens are coming home to roost. Yeah, that's right. Caroline? It seems that way. 
I would agree. Just look at what, what has happened with the stock, certainly what happened with the stock today, uh, hiring a private uh, lawyer, and it has you know, repercussions for the company, immediate repercussions for the company. Um, I do think that Goldman is probably not the only company being investigated. But I, Jonathan, I don't think you have much to worry about because the SEC has a revolving door with these companies. All they give them is a slap on the wrist. So I'm actually uh, not well, optimistic. That we're that getting they ahead of ourselves. Bottom line, it's a saga that's going to play out a while, but it's an interesting saga that. Guys, thank you all very much. Tomorrow, by the way, we have a special in-depth interview.